Hello. A warm good morning to all. I am Ms. Rekha Matthew, one of the coordinators of Career Club, the other being Ms. Rosmi Khatur. Uh, we, on the behalf of Career Club and Placements, and welcome all first year students to Alfonso College, Pala. Career Club organizes orientation classes to all our students regarding the career opportunities in different fields and the various courses they can study after the graduation. In addition to this, we conduct personality development classes, entrepreneurship awareness programs, guidance for competitive examinations. We conduct mock tests, classes on resume writing, interview tips, group discussion, etc. by eminent personalities. Information about various recruitment rights, job fairs and placements are collected and passed on to our students. This will help them to pursue, try out other placement offers. The club conduct various programs for students in order to educate them about the possible areas of higher education, overseas education, self-improvement, language and professional efficiency. Today, we have an excellent resource person, Mr. Giver Giske Matthews, who will be talking to you in effective ways to approach and crack competitive exams for a successful career. As first year students, you may have apprehensions about your future, especially in this pandemic time. Mr. Giver Giske Matthews is a trainer, mentor, and motivator, and has supported many to enhance their skills, achieve career goals, and bring out leadership skills. He's an MBA from York University, Canada, with many years of experience in teaching and training. I welcome Mr. Giver K. Matthews to this session. Good morning, all of you. And uh, thank you, Rekha, Ms., for a warm introduction. Thank and you, all of my first years, thank you. So all of my first years, and well, welcome to the Alfonso College. At the same time, well, when you were in the plus two, the first day of your college, you expected in a totally different way, in a colorful way, right? So now we have, we have it is in a colorful way, but the only thing, the difference is the platform is different. What you expected, it's a live platform. It's a real one. Now we are on a virtual platform. So this is the reality. And of course, this is what exactly happens in our life as well. We plan different things and many things and the things may happen in a slightly different way. Many times it happens in such a way that it would be sometimes better than we expect. So this case, I won't say it is better than you expect, but you know what? At least we have a platform right now. So, well, this happened like uh, five or 10 years ago. You just think about it. This kind of a pandemic which happened uh, 10 years ago and all kind of like, you know, close, uh, schools, colleges, everything is closed. Then we don't have, we didn't have a virtual platform at that point of time. So now at least we have a virtual platform to go further with the things, even our studies, our activities, everything. So, well, one way it is not really good when you look at the situation, the pandemic situation, everything. But the other way, you know what? A lot of opportunities, a lot of things are there. So that's the reason that people say, you know what? If one door is closed, when well, then 10 doors will open. So that's a, that's a real reason. So if you can, of course, you can see that in your real life as well. You must have gone through different uh, kind of like uh, difficulties along with your family and personally as well. At the same time, well, when you just go up that hill, when you're climbing that hill, it's really difficult. But when you come down from that hill, downhill ride would be much more easier than when you look back, you'll be proud of that. Yes, I conquered that heights and now I'm just kind of like, you know what, on my easy ride. So, well, these are the kinds of things you have to keep in your mind. It's pretty much, you know what, uh, cross section of our life as well. So definitely, it's the personal life, professional life, we say it is professional life and personal life. It's two different things, but it is kind of, it is mixed as well. So at this point of time, just I would like to bring some kind of thoughts uh, to you, right? So, well, 
you are from your kind of like you know what bridging the gap between your plus two and you're getting into the first uh, year of your degree so many of you have joined this program your own choice and some of you have joined because of your family wants you to do a degree those kind of things those different requirements are there so ultimately what exactly you or your family wants you or uh, really wants to get from you or to see you after three or five years down the line think about it so you are the first day of your degree and three years down the line or five years down the line what exactly you would like to be see yourself would you like to be in the same kind of like you know position same like uh, you would you like to have same kind of uh, dress after three years possibly not right so you are looking for something much better something colorful something fits for you after three years so same way think about the career as well so after three years after five years three years once you complete your degree five years means when if you are interested in your pg once you complete your PG, it must take uh, five years, right? So where do you see yourself? Or what are the opportunities? And people say opportunities are kind of like, you know, what coming down or reducing or those kind of things. Is it true? Why do they say that? So what do you think? Is it like opportunities are coming down or is it reduced? Or it's like a lot more opportunities? All those kind of things, you have to have an idea. First of all, what exactly you want to do so of course you want to complete your degree and after you complete your degree what is next thing would you like to go for a job or would you like to go for higher studies these are the two options in front of you so well it is not necessary that you have to go for a pg in order to get the job many of the jobs many of the prestigious jobs now available in the market either in the private sector or the government sector, the minimum requirement is a degree. And if you have a PG, you may not get any additional points for that PG as well. So degree is good enough. If you look at a point, a point of view of a job. However, if you are interested in teaching job, higher level teaching job, for example, like college teaching, or maybe like higher secondary teaching, then definitely you need to have a PG. Or if you like uh, go for research, PhD, those kind of things, definitely you need to have a PG. So it is pretty much depends on what exactly you like to have. So I'll just say, uh, you know what, uh, list out some of the opportunities we have in front of us. What are the opportunities? Look around you, your family, your parents, your cousins, uh, your like relatives, your uncle, your auntie, and your neighbors do they do they do, do a job so what kind of a job do they do we can list this job just uh, think about 10 persons around you so 10 persons like you can just think about including your parents what kind of job they do so we can categorize that into like uh, you know what government sector jobs that means government sector jobs mean state government jobs Apart from that, we have central government jobs. Apart from the, that, we have private sector jobs, private companies like uh, reputed private companies. Then we have, apart from that, it is teaching job. I'm just taking it as a different uh, segment, teaching job. Apart from the government, it's a teaching job is a government job as well, especially in aided colleges, schools as well. But at the same time, I'm just treating it as a different segment. So teaching jobs. Then banking sector banking sector there are nationalist banks and private banks as well so banking sector then lic lic i'm not really talking about the lic agent those kind of uh, positions or professions but lic it's a government uh, company lic and you have like a general insurance company as well so these companies they recruit development officers that's a government job it's paid by the government it is not like a lic agent job so those kind of uh, like companies so banking lic government jobs now teaching jobs teaching jobs then uh, civil service well a lot of opportunities a lot of wide varieties of jobs and now some of you are interested you may 
think about higher studies in outside India. So if you want to do an MBA outside India or inside India, it's possible to do an MBA from prestigious institutions. All these are the possible opportunities in front of us. However, if you look at all these opportunities, there is something which is common. What is that something which is common? In order to get into this job or in order to like uh, do this higher studies, what is the first requirement you have to have? The first requirement is a degree. So once you qualify the degree, what is the next thing? So in order to get a job, especially state government job, what do you have to do? State government job. Simple thing. Either PSC exams or KAS, Kerala Administrative Service, KASS. Possibly you heard of this KAS many times, right? And if it is state a central government job, you have to go for staff selection commission exam. So now it is called uh, S, rather than SSC, it is called CET, Common Entrance Test. Now, if you want to get a job in bank, so it's called bank test, bank test. Now, if you want to get a job in a reputed private company, an IT company, if you're interested in IT sector or in a consulting company, like, you know what, um, KPMG, or uh, like PricewaterCoopers or any kind of like those companies, or if it's IT company like Wipro, TCS, uh, Tech Mahindra, any of these companies, you need to have their own test. So it's a, a recruitment test you have. Now, if you are interested in civil service, then definitely you have to go for civil service exam. So it is UPSC exam, right? If you really get into chartered accounting, then definitely you have exams in that area as well. Then what else? If you get into teaching, if you want to become a college teacher, college professor, what you need is net, UGC net. So ultimately, when you look at the opportunities in front of you, any kind of career you have in your mind, there is one thing between you and your career that's called an aptitude test. And think about higher studies. If you want to go for an MBA in IAM, then you have to write what? CAT exam. And if you want to do a like a PG outside India, then you have to go for either a GMAT exam or a GRE exam. Depends on your area. If it is science, GRE. If it is like a management, then you have to write a GMAT exam. So ultimately, this is what exactly this aptitude, aptitude test. So what is this aptitude test? People say it is aptitude, aptitude. Many times they say that. So what is this aptitude? Any, any one of you have any idea what is aptitude? If you have any kind of idea, you can put it in the chat box. I can see the chat box. So what do you think? What is chat aptitude? So do you have aptitude? So if you have aptitude, what is it, this aptitude? Anybody? I'm pretty sure you heard this many times in your school days. Definitely you have completed your 12th, right? So you must be going to the school. Okay, so George Ma says it's interest. Of course, that's aptitude is the interest, definitely. Anything else? Anyone else? Skills, right, good. Talent, good. So, well, Joshma, Rose, Binsa, Aishurya, Jinsha. Ultimately, the simple definition of aptitude or aptitude test, they are kind of like checking out the ability of a person to learn new things. Well, if you get into a job, definitely you have to learn a lot of new things so ultimately if you have aptitude that means you can learn new things you are you are having that capability of learning new things so that is what exactly the meaning of aptitude what do you mean by learning new things new things could be anything it could be a language so let's say you want to learn a sir can we continue definitely you ready, sir? yes, okay, yes. Sir. All right.
Now, everyone, let's uh, back to the topic we were discussing, like its aptitude. So for your convenience, I'm just keeping the video off. That will reduce your data usage. So well, we'll uh, focus on the slide in front of us. So aptitude, definitely this name we have discussed was this aptitude. It's a uh, ability of a person to learn new things. So now you know the answer why this companies, why this government agencies, why this education agencies, all these uh, organizations, why do they conduct this aptitude test? They want to get the people with the skills. I mean, the skills and ability to learn new things. That's the ultimate aim of aptitude test. Now, if you want to go ahead and if you want to really someone in your life, if you want to be a successful in your career, definitely you have to go through at least one aptitude test in your life. It, it is not really just one. It could be a number of aptitude tests. But anyhow, without aptitude test, it's not really possible. Well, it's possible. The only way you can get into that, if you have a your own uh, company, your own startup, those kind of things, you don't need to do the aptitude test. But then when you recruit people, you have to do the aptitude test for them. So ultimately, aptitude test is a part of our life. For the last, especially last, you know, what, five to 10 years, aptitude test has gained a lot of momentum in different areas. Now we have to take a look at what exactly this aptitude test. So can someone tell me what are the different areas we can have in an aptitude test or we can expect in an aptitude test? You can just, you know what, have your responses in chat box. So wh which are the different areas? What do you think? Anybody? Different areas in aptitude test. I'm just looking for your response. Have you gone through any kind of aptitudes test in your life? Okay, so I got the message from Nantana. Nantana says, you know what? One is logical reasoning, logical reasoning. Then we have a numerical ability or we call it quantitative ability. So these are the things which we have mentioned here. See that quantitative ability. That's part of the exam. So quantitative ability, it's math, basic mathematical skills. It is not high level mathematical skills. It's basic what you have learned in the high school level. Then logical reasoning. Then what else? VA, VA means verbal ability. Of course, inductive reasoning, critical reasoning, all those things that comes under logical reasoning. So logical reasoning, that's the second part. So then verbal ability, that's English, English grammar, usage of English, all those things. Then GA, GA means, what is it? Gen general awareness. Earlier we called it what? GK, general knowledge, general knowledge, general awareness. And what is uh, CA? Mental ability, actually mental ability is a different name for logical reasoning. So logical reasoning and mental ability both are same. Current affairs, yes, that is general awareness, current affairs. What is CA? CA is computer awareness, computer awareness. Current affairs, you can say that kind of current affairs as well, but current affairs, it's a part of general awareness. So we'll have current affairs than computer awareness. These are the major areas we see in competitive exams. For example, if you look at bank exam, bank test, you have all these areas. If you look at uh, exam by the insurance companies, as I have mentioned earlier, it is for officer position in insurance companies. Well, some of these jobs are really better than a bank job. The reason for that, bank uh, job, the timing, well, if you are a manager, you have to be in the bank at least until what, seven o'clock or eight o'clock. But insurance company, you can leave the office by five or 5.30. So bank, insurance companies, then what else? SSC type of 
exams, SSC, staff selection commission, that is what, central government jobs. Then what else? State government, PSC. PSC, the only difference uh, for PSC with the other exams, PSC has a lot of general awareness, general knowledge questions. But other areas are relatively easy for PSC exam. For example, like a quantitative ability, logical reasoning ability, those kind of questions, PSC, it's pretty relatively easy. But now when I say PSC exam, I'm not really looking at, you know, what, uh, what is called a clerical level of jobs. I'm just looking at degree level jobs. In PSC, there are degree level jobs. So that is what we are interested in. So PSC then uh, university assistant jobs. In university, university assistants. So that is pretty much a similar type of pattern. What else you have? Then private companies, private organizations, something like, uh, as I have mentioned, IT companies, consulting companies, or any kind of those companies, they have this kind of similar pattern. So quantitative ability, logical reasoning, verbal ability, a little bit of general awareness and computer awareness as well. So if you are interested in teaching, you are interested in net or set, UGC net or set, you'll have all these areas. Along with that, you'll have teaching ability, teaching aptitude, uh, research aptitude, all those kind of things. All right, so these are the areas, civil service, same thing. So you have, uh, you have to have go through all these kind of areas, especially in the first uh, paper. Not every paper, first paper, second paper, third paper, that's a specialized. So, well, if you, and if you go for like higher studies, MBA, MCA, MCOM, MCOM in a reputed institution, or like uh, higher studies outside India, then definitely you have to go through any kind of this aptitude test having all these areas. Now we'll take a look at these areas one by one. So how about like logical reasoning? Logical reasoning, you have mentioned about logical reasoning and mental ability. Which are the different type of questions comes under this area? Let's take a look at this. This is one of the major area. Well, logical reasoning and the other major area is quantitative ability, quantitative ability. Quantitative ability means mathematics. So we'll take a look at these two areas in detail. So number series questions from number series. So for example, like uh, numbers are given in such a way that you have uh, 21, 26, 37. So it goes like that. So you have to find the next number in the series. Then letter series, a number of letters are given. You have to find the next letter. Then blood relations questions, direction sense questions, puzzles, analogies, coding decoding, deductions or syllogism, ranking and ordering type of questions, odd one out of type questions, logical Venn diagrams, mathematical Venn diagrams. So these are the different areas which comes under logical reasoning. Then how about quantitative ability? We'll take a look at some of the questions from quantitative ability, something like, you know what, averages, questions related to averages, percentages, then time and work, time and work, time and distance. Then you have uh, profit and loss, profit and loss. What else? Probability. This is profit and loss, probability. Then you have mixtures and allegations. Then what else? Ratio proportions, ratio and proportions. Anything else? Permutations, combinations, geometry. So all these areas which can comes under quantitative ability. You know what, rather than we talk a lot, we'll take a look at some of these questions. These questions are really interesting. So we'll take a look at some of the interesting and simple questions. So then you'll get a feel of what exactly they are. Take a look at this question here. Number series, 14, 18, 24, 32, and 42. So what is the next number in the series? That's a straightforward question. Try this. So 14, 
plus 4 is 18, correct? 18 plus 6 is 24. 24 plus 8 is 32. And 32 plus 10 is 42. So you see the pattern? 14 plus 4. So plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. So next one, 42 plus 12. So Angela got the answer, 54. So 54 is the answer. So pretty simple actually. So well, if you look at the pattern, if you get the pattern, you get the answer. This is called summation pattern. The first number plus something is the second number. Second number plus something is the third number, summation pattern. Now look at second question. 3, 7, 12, 18, 25. What's the next number? Once you have the answer, you can put it in the chat box. I see the answers from Mekhana, Gayatri, Hima, Arya, Angela, Binsa, Leah. So what is the pattern? 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. So next one must be 8. 25 plus 8 is 33. Pretty good. Now question number 11. Sorry, question number 3. 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23. What's the answer? I see the answers from, again, Angela, Gayatri, Kartikas, Leah, Rose, Lakshmi, Ada. So what is the pattern here? Let's look at it. 11, 13. So 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. So 17 plus 2 is 19. 19 plus 4 is 23. So 23, so uh, plus 2, plus 4, plus 2, plus 4. Next one is plus 2. 23 plus 2 is 25. At the same time, you look at the answer choice. First answer is 25, second is 21, third is 29. The last answer choice is either A or C. That means either answer choice A or C. Since you have the answer given as either answer choice A or C, Definitely, you have to look at C as well. C is what? 29. So is it possible for 29 be an answer for this question? 29 answer one and the possibility on the other open. Is there any possibility? 25 is already a correct answer. We know that. But we have the last answer choice, either A or C. So is it possible for 29 be an answer for this question? What do you think? Yes or no? 29, is it possible for 29 can be an answer? Come on guys, give me an answer. Well, after 25, next number is uh, 25 plus 4, 29. But that is after 29, after 25. Yeah, 25 in a pagaram, 29 varam 29. 25 in a session, 29 varum. But single, 25 in a pagaram, 29 answer varam patuo. Some of you say yes and some of you say no. Okay, so 25 is the answer. I agree. At the same time, now we are looking at any other possibility for this question. That means look at the first number. First number is 11. Second number is 13, 17, 19, and 23. What are these numbers? Any peculiarity for these numbers? 11, 13, 17, 19, and 23. Prime numbers, yes, that's correct. These are odd numbers. At the same time, these are not consecutive odd numbers. 15 is missing, 21 is missing. So that means these are prime numbers, consecutive prime numbers. So that means next prime number must be 29. So 29 can be an answer, 25 can be an answer. Both are correct. So those who said the answer 25, your answer is correct. 
At the same time, 29 is another answer. So ultimately, 25 and 29, two answers possible. So what is the final answer? Either A or C. That's the answer. So you see that question is getting a bit tricky. First two questions were straightforward. Now the third question is a bit more challenging. All right, so let's take another one. Questions uh, four and five, take a look at it, four and five. So once you get the answer, put it in the chat box. Okay, I see the answer from Elsa. Anyone else? Joshma? So question number four. And Angela? There we go, and Maria. Now we look at the pattern here. So what is a pattern? 48, 63. So if you take the difference, 48 plus 15 is 63. 63 plus 17, 80. And 80 plus 19 is 99. 99 plus 21 is 120. So these numbers are, the differences are 15, 17, 19, 21. These are consecutive odd numbers, 15, 17, 19, and 21. So next odd number must be 23. 120 plus 23, 143 is the answer. By the way, any one of you got any other pattern for this question? Difference pattern, all other very irregular pattern, Okay, so let's take another one. When I see 63, I remember the number 64. And when I see 80, well, I see that 81. So, well, when I see 99, 100 come to my mind. And 120, it must be 121. Do you see any pattern now? First one, 48 means seven square minus one. Seven square is 49, seven square minus one. 64, that is eight square. So 63 is eight square minus one. And 80 is nine square minus one. And well, 99 is 10 square minus one. And uh, 120 is 11 square minus one. So you see the pattern? Seven square minus one, eight square minus one, nine square minus one, 10 square minus one, 11 square minus one. So your answer must be 12 square minus one. 12 square is 144 minus one, 143. So either way you get the same answer. How about the next one? Question number five. Binsa, Angela, Elsa and Maria. Nishma, Leah, Gayatri, Adira. So I think uh, this is going to be a straightforward question for you. Many of you got the answer. So let's take a look at it. 626, when I see that number, what come to my mind is 625, 25 square, 25 square, five, 25 square plus one. So next one before that, it must be 24 square plus one. Then 23 square is 529. So this is 530 is 23 square plus one. So 23 square plus one, 24 square, 25 square, then 26 square plus one. Then the answer must be 27 square plus one. 27 square is 729 plus 1730. 
okay that's one way of doing it or if you take differences you'll get the answer as well if you take differences you'll get the answer either way you get the answer okay so this is one of the area from logical reasoning and uh, now we'll take a an interesting area something which is different than numbers this is called verbal analogies take a look at it sheep is to flock bear is to what any idea so first of all you have to look at that connection what is sheep and flock what is the connection between sheep and flock and that would be the same connection between bear and what so sheep and flock what is the connection well uh, kartika says my voice is not clear is that okay now maybe it could be a network issue as well from your end is it uh, is it clear for everybody else okay good so others can hear me so kartika that could be a network issue from your end check it out all right so sheep is to flock bear is to what ah right, definitely nishma got the answer so sheep and flock it's a collective noun the group of sheep is flock same way group of bears bears is what sloth ah uh, what is kalk anybody what is kalk Well, this is something what we have studied in like uh, maybe grade one or maybe in LKG, UKG, but that is something we use now. So remember this competitive exam is the sum total of what you have learned so far. So skulk is a group of foxes. And herd, herd is a group of cattle, group of uh, donkeys, group of horses. All of this is cattle, I mean herd, herd and cattle. Sloth. Sloth is the answer actually. Sloth is the group of bears. Now, second one, question number 12. That's pretty straightforward question. Take a look at it. Torch is to dark, umbrella is to rain. Of course. Torch is to dark, then umbrella is to rain. All of you got the answer. Good. I appreciate it. Lion is to cub, goat is to what? Lion and cub. What's that relation? lion and cub of course everybody knows the young one of lion is cub so goat and the young one is lamb is it lamb well some of you got the am, uh, answer lamb and some of you got the answer kid which one is correct lamb or kid you know what some of the questions we think it is really easy when you see the answer choice we may think that's the answer but sheep young one is lamb Goat, young one is kid. So the answer is kid. So some of you got the answer correct. I appreciate it. So sheep, young one is lamb. And goat, young one is kid. Remember this. Then surgeon is to scalpel. Surgeon and scalpel. What is scalpel? Scalpel and the Mario. Well, it is a tool used by the surgeons. So it's a relation what surgeon and scalpel means. It's pretty much what? Professional and the tool. Same way. Which professional use the chisel? Sculpture, right? So sculpture is the answer. And how about the teacher? What is the tool of the teacher? Question number 14 answer is sculpture. But my question is, what is the tool of the teacher? If you have a question. Well, uh, book. If you do I will give you the answer now, sir. Pardon? I will give you the answer in the present the situation. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. <laughs> it has to be a smartphone or a laptop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's right. 
So, well, these questions, most of these questions are talks about like a traditional things. That's they haven't changed it. So, traditionally, what were the teachers using? That's the same thing they used for this competitive exam. They are not really updated that part. That's the interesting part of this exam. All right, Miss. Thanks for your contribution. So, <laughs> teacher, is it smartphone? Is it like a computer, or is it chalk, or is it book? What do you think? Which would be the answer? All of this can be the answers, correct? But most of the time for this competitive exam, so you may have an answer choice chalk or book if it is given. Chalk would be the best answer. And nowadays, it is not really the chalk, it must be the marker, whiteboard and the marker, right? But anyhow, the competitive exam, the probably you get the answer either chalk or marker, something like that. Next year, probably you may see the change. In this special situation, definitely they may update that rather than chalk, they may use uh, like a, you know what, a smartphone or computer. Now, how about the farmer? What's the tool of the farmer? And what's the tool of the soldier? Uh, what is the so tool of warrior? Uh, what's the tool of the doctor? Try this, any one of it. Doctor is what? Surgeon is scalpel, doctor is stethoscope, right? Step. And uh, well, farmer and soldier, I see the answer from, I think, Aishurya. No, Le Lakshmi. Lakshmi says soldier is to gun, correct. And warrior? Sword, right. So that answer from Binsa. And well, uh, farmer, pretty simple, correct? Plow, farmer is plow. So these are kind of like, you have a number of uh, connections here, number of professionals here. So you have to be aware of that. At least uh, 10, 12 of them are important for competitive exams. Painter is to brush. Well, blacksmith is to anvil, all those kind of things they may ask you. All right, uh, let's move on. Next one. Star is to sky, ship is to what? Pretty simple question. Exactly. So, well, Joshma got the answer, Leah got the answer. And many of you got the answer. See that. So star is to sky, ship is to sea. Gambling is to casino. Gambling and casino, what's the relation? Gambling and casino. Well, question number 16. Gambling and casino. Well, it is, you know what, the formal place for gambling is casino. Same way, formal place for dancing. Dancing can be done anywhere. In your school, in your college, in your home. Well, any public place, in your church, in your temple, whatever it is. But there is a formal place for dancing that is called what? Club, dance club. How about like a formal place for uh, acting? Acting can be done anywhere, but the formal place for acting, well, stage and stage, where, which stage? Stage in the theater. So formal place for acting is theater. Same way, formal place for prayer. Prayer. So any formal place for prayer can be the answer. For example, church, chapel, temple, uh, like Gurudwara, mosque, any, any of this can be the answer. Even prayer hall, if you have an answer to his prayer hall, that can be the answer as well. Now, 17. Buses to diesel, cell phone is to what? Right, so bus is to diesel, the fuel used by the bus is diesel. Same way, the fuel used by the cell phone is electricity. We don't have such an answer, electricity. So electricity is the perfect answer, we don't have it. The, the next possible answer is battery. Bat battery provides the energy for the cell phone. So battery can be there.
Now next one, 18. 18 and 19, take a look at it. Tiger is to lair, fox is to wear. Fox is to what? Tiger and lair. What is the connection between tiger and lair? Any idea? First of all, what is that connection? Tiger and layer. What is layer? Well, it is a home of tiger. Home of tiger is layer. Home of lion is what? Den. Tiger is layer. So, well, home of fox is what? Fox. Give me an idea, what's a home of fox? Burrow, burrow is a home of rabbit. Burrow is rabbit. Lair is tiger. And which one is the answer, none of this? Well, actually fox, Fox lives in a hole, that's a big hole on the earth. Actually, that name of the hole is called as earth. That name of the hole is known as earth. So earth is the answer. Earth, number planet, and the earth is the earth. The home of Thai, I mean, uh, Fox is called earth. That's the hole, and the hole is called earth. So earth is the answer. Now, 19. A donkey is to jack, deer is to what? Actually, these are, uh, you know what, it's really an interesting area. Whenever you have time, what I suggest is you have to upgrade this area. Either examine the Thalaya Dosam Parikinda Allah, over a period of like two years, you finally are ready to take a ready to take a ready to take a ready to So donkey is to jack. What is that connection? Donkey and jack is what? It's, is it the name of the donkey? Jack and Dan. So I see the answer from Sajana, Prizana, Mekhana. Lakshmi. So donkey and jack, the connection is donkey and male donkey is jack. So male of the donkey is jack. Correct. So Hima says male donkey. All right. So deer, male deer is what? Male deer is bark. And what is fawn? F-A-W-N. Fawn. Fawn is the young one of deer. Man kunjina namlu bolke na pera na fawn. What is pit? P I T pit. Pit is the home of snake. Sadar na snake ke udhiya na maalathil ani irikya. Pishengi maalathil na namlu hall and naalla bolkiya snake ke irikin na maalathil na namlu pitta naalu bolkiya. Adhe samayam if it is a rat, ratum maalathil ani irikya. Pishengi rat irikin na maalathil na namlu hall and naalu bolkiya hall. So oru minimum oru pera irikya. Rabbit hole in Rikia, Pesha, Rabbit Tolapo, a hole in the Vulkan Pere, and Dana, Mumbai Naparanu, Rabbit is to Every day, Rabbit is to borrow. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Numismatist is to coins, vexillologist is to what? Numismatist coins. So what is that connection? That is a connection. Numismatist and coins.
So this is what the person collecting the coins, the person who is collecting the coins is numismatist, same way, vexillologist, the person who is collecting the flags. So in this case, we don't have the answer to his flags, so the answer must be what? None of this, none of this. All right, so well, I'll just show you a few more questions from here. So something like, you know what, uh, number series. So these are higher level questions on number series. Apart from that, if you go further down, Uh, these are analogy type questions. These are number analogies. That means 7 is to 26, then 63 is to what? These are not series. It's called analogy type questions. verbal analogy, as well as number analogies. Then we have uh, what these are sequence type questions. area But now, it is not possible for us to cover all these areas at this point of time. idea where do you get this material? So I'll show you where exactly you can get this material. Give me a second. Let me bring up the page. All right. So just give me a second. So I hope you can see what I do here. Kanandondo. So I'm just trying to uh, no, kind of like Kanandondo. No, thank you. Your screen. Yeah. Okay. Good. So this one, this is walnuttraining.org. That's a website. I'll show you how to use that website. So once you get into this website, you see this home programs, endorsement, our team, study material. So something which is important for us is study material. So take a look at this materials, materials, click on it. Now that will take you to a download center. So see that download not center here? You have not stopped. Pardon? You have stopped your screen. Break your window. No, we can't see your screen. We have to stop. Okay, let me try once, once again, once again. Okay. Okay, good. So, well, this one is the website, wildlifetraining.org. So, when you get into this website, this is what you see: home programs endorsements our team study material so you click on study material you see that the scroll down menu materials and video course so click on material so that will take you to a download center the first part is a beginners arena so if you remember the questions we have done related to animal kingdom click on it you see a number of animals that means animals this is only for competitive exam a cat, for example, cat, the first one. Cat, male cat, and female cat is she cat. Young one of cat is kitten. Then group is litter. Then home is catry. And sound is mew. And if you take, uh, let's say, elephant, see that elephant is here in between. So you take elephant. The male elephant is bull. Have you ever heard of it? I'm pretty sure some of you heard of it. But male elephant is bull. Female elephant is cow. Young one of elephant is calf. Group of elephants is herd or parade. The home of elephant is jungle. And uh, the sound is trumpet. So you look at when you go down, you have some of the interesting birds as well. For example, like eagle. Eagle, male eagle. It's male eagle itself. Female is female. Young one is eaglet. And the group is called convocation. And the home is airy. And the sound is Quack. So this is one of the material you have. 
and of course if you look at this group you see this animal kingdom adana nammal ipo eduthathu in animals and their movements und greek and roman gods and goddesses if you click on that you see this greek and roman gods and goddesses appo oro god alangal goddess inde devangalde greek la perum roman perum avarude portfolio for example first one aphrodite that's a greek name venus is a roman name and love that's a portfolio ingante sadhanangal ella competitive exam nu varuna questions aanu look at athena fifth one athena athena that's a greek name minerva is the roman name and she is the goddess of wisdom all right so now that's beginners arena then a few more items are there phobias are there objects and sounds you can take a look at later now banks ssc and campus placement this is something that's really important for you these are the practice questions look at the first one alpha and number series you click on it you get a number of questions from this see that second page you have up to 45 questions on this and the third page you have answers uh look at blood relation questions see that questions on the first page and the second page you have answers take a look at it and of course coding decoding direction sense puzzles take a look at puzzles questions and the third page you have answers third page see that so take advantage of it so these are kind of like you know you don't need any kind of uh, what is called password to get on this website what you need is walnuttraining.org that's one of the area and another area i'll show you this one this is a youtube channel on uh, major areas of competitive exam that means basic things of like for number series letter series etc so you will get a clear idea about how to do this questions ipo nammal cheyidile adu pole thanne aa channel adu krithyamayittu ningale kaanikkunnundu engane idu cheyan pattunu see that you have a number of uh, number of videos here time and work uh, time and distance uh, like uh, deductions profit and loss let me take this uh, what is it the list of videos give me a second yeah this is what we'll take the list of videos see that first one time and work simple and compound interest and deductions profit and loss Sir, we are not able to see the screen okay give me share this thank you miss thank you for the update i thought you were able to see this is so maybe uh, we shall we can start to wind up our class now definitely definitely so i'll just explain this take one or two minutes then we'll wind up can you see this now yes okay good so this is what it's a walnut training this is a youtube channel so this is where you see all these videos so speed math blood relations inequality numbers deductions direction sense all this which comes under logical reasoning and at the same time quantitative ability mathematics so this is where exactly you can start your preparation right so most of the time this is one of the question i face from the students after this kind of sessions where do we get the material so this is the place you get the material and i'll share you the link as well so that is easy for you to deal with this kind of things right so just give me a second i'll give you the link as well so let me get out of this websites for the time being so this is what uh 
I'll put that link in the chat box so that's easy for you. Okay, so that's a YouTube link. And of course, the website, it's walnuttraining.org. You can find it out. Just write it down. So walnut training, so you get it. And by the way, so next few minutes, we are going to wind up. So any questions from you guys, from what we have discussed, or anything related to your career? Feel free to ask if you have any kind of questions. Everything is perfectly okay? Seems like everyone is on the website at this point of time using the link. So I don't think I... If we can see you. Okay. okay, right, fine. So any questions? That's it. So if there's no question, fine, then it's why it's my pleasure to work with you guys. So now what I suggest is make a plan, make a goal, what you want to be in next three or five years, make a plan that is all your plan, personal plan, work for it. At the same time, you can have a lot of fun as well. You can have your friends, you can go for a movie, you can have like uh, with your relatives, all those things. That's uh, like a simple enjoyment of our life. Don't miss that. Do all these kind of things. At the same time, you have to have your goal in your mind as well. Once again, it's my pressure. I have miss. Yeah, thank you, sir. Um, thank you for the session. But we had uh, some uh, trouble with the YouTube streaming. Uh, those who were in the YouTube tried to get into the YouTube, couldn't hear the initial part of this talk. I'm uh, sorry about that. But anyway, we have recorded this video and it will be uh, put in the YouTube channel. So you can watch the entire video from the channel later. Uh, I, uh, I, re I invite our uh, coordinator, Ms. Rosmi Kartur, uh, to thank uh, to conclude this session. Please, Rosmi. Good morning, everyone. Respected resource person, Mr. Givergis K. Matthews, the coordinator of the career and placement cell, Ms. Rekha Matthew, and all the first year students. While listening to the session, I had one thought in mind. What a wonderful way of beginning first year at Alfonso College. Dear sir, you have given a clear picture to the first years regarding how to plan their future and how to work towards it. Thank you so much for being with us today. On behalf of Alfonso College, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to you, dear sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. I appreciate it. I take this opportunity to thank Ms. Rekha Matthew, the coordinator of the Career and Placement Cell of Alfonso College, Pala. Thank you so much, ma'am, for all your effort in putting this program together. Thank you, Ms. Rekha. I also thank Ms. Anu Paul for the technical assistance in organizing this session today. Thank you, Ms. Anu Paul. I thank all the first years for participating in this session today. The career and placement cell of Alfonso College wishes you a wonderful year ahead. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. So I think uh, this is the end of this day. Uh, thank you all for participating in this uh, session. Uh, thank you very much, sir.